So the first time I got sticks in my hand, I, uh, well, I picked them up, dropped them a lot, dropped them, picked them up. But I started getting excited once I started getting some moves under my belt. In the first few minutes, I was able to get a couple of moves, and after a little bit, a little bit more. Certain moves came easy. Other moves took a little longer. Uh, some of the moves with the sticks you'll find be, will be peculiar to yourself to some degree, simply because you have to adjust yourself to the action a little bit, and that creates its own signature. Most people develop a, like a signature move or two. It's kind of funny when you think about sticks, uh, you think about baton twirling, you think about the marchers, uh, you might think about the uh, fire twirlers out in uh, Hawaii where they take their batons and they twirl them quickly and set them on fire. Uh, I remember in the military they had something called the Puji stick, which was a long stick with foam things in it. You would fight each other with it. Uh, all the people in the military certainly know about marching with a, a gun or a, um, a sword previously to that. Uh, so you can think of a, a gun as being uh, the replacement for the sword, and the sword was the replacement for a stick. This happens to be a stick that looks like a sword, so that covers a couple of territories. I think in the very beginning when we came down out of the trees, or perhaps uh, while we were still in the area of the trees, we started playing with sticks a great deal. And uh, it has to do, in my mind, with the development of tools. If we go back in history and see how mankind developed uh, the use of tools, we'll see that it had to do with manipulating something, being able to make it do what you wanted it to do. So that having it do what you wanted it to do, of course, required the development of a hand-eye coordination, which means when you develop it, then you have it for varieties of applications. Same thing in learning to manipulate a staff like this, or perhaps in learning to manipulate a set of our crystal sticks, twirling batons. Uh, each thing has its own peculiarities. The thing about the crystal stick that I find so peculiar is that once you get it started as an action, getting the first move under your belt, you can immediately move into a stirring motion which really creates a, a continuous line of action or a continuing motion that you kind of have to keep up with and stay on the edge of. What I'm doing right there, for example, is staying right on the edge of it, staying with it, so it's like a stirring motion that you create. Uh, as you develop with, the, with this activity, what starts to happen is that your body can start to compensate for varying angles and changes of directions to give you more anchoring support. So, for example, if I'm pushing the sticks that way, I'm having to anchor it against my body. Well, I can pin that anchor at one spot or another spot. For example, I can pin the anchor in my knee and push against the knee, push against the foot. Or I could pin it in my stomach and level that anchoring off between the two legs and push it like that, so it would be tensing on my stomach. That allows you to isolate this action that takes place down here and get that action uh, into the body in the form of muscle development. And, of course, muscle development goes along with hand-eye development as well. So, if I'm doing that there, I can use various parts of my body to push the action interacting my body with the action in various kinds of ways to create a kind of a development in the body that wouldn't normally be available. So over the years I've been asked varieties of questions concerning the sticks, not the least of which is why did I call the crystal sticks crystal sticks? Uh, I guess the fact is when I picked up the my first set of sticks that I would made and was playing with them, I uh, started noticing immediately that my heart rate was starting to go up as I reached and turned and spun. Uh, and the more I was playing with the sticks, the more it seemed to have the impact of clearing my head, like clearing my emotions from the physical things going on, as well as uh, clearing my thinking as a result of having to think quickly uh, about the action and plan the next action and react to it and all those things. So it was a quickening that was taking place. Uh, and I uh, thought of that quickening as a clearing, and uh, I had thought of the idea of something being crystal clear, and a lot of crystal sticks was born. Uh, the idea of getting clear is only, to me, something about developing your body, and developing your emotions, your maturity, developing your capacity to interact with the world effectively, and to be effective in the world as well. Uh, the stick activity 
provided a tool, I guess you could say. It certainly uh, has uh, uh, all of the elements of a tool in the sense that I'm using it to develop myself and get a result. In the beginning, of course, uh, not all of these kinds of things were known for myself. I started, I started playing, I started seeing the results, and I started following the line of results. And that kind of allowed me to, to develop the activity of the crystal stick in a certain kind of a way. Uh, one of the first things that came up is obviously I'm going to right hand or left hand, right hand or left hand. So I decided that uh, right hand or left hand is okay, so perhaps I could add something else to it by consolidating and going to one hand effectively teaching the left side what the right side already knows, but perhaps just as more importantly, and that is developing an area of cooperation between the two hemispheres. When I put my fingers together like that, I know physiologically that I'm linking up the two halves of my head. That really brings it together. And the fact that I'm having to move and make an action take place in cooperation balancing the two halves of the body uh, creates uh, the, the kind of feedback that you would want developmentally. In other words, it integrates, develops, and makes more cohesive. You can use your body more effectively in that way. Uh, it also allowed for the next level of development or line of development, and that is to have two activities going on at the same time. Uh, mentally, you have to step outside of yourself. Let me step over and grab an, an additional baton illustrate my point. Initially, when I'm doing uh, one baton between two hand sticks, the action is alternating between the two halves of my head, the two hemispheres. So when I put both hands together, I created that common connection between the two hemispheres. By picking up a second baton uh, and attempting to do two simultaneous actions, I'm having to split up the hemispheres on the one hand, but more importantly, I'm having to move my mental position somewhere between the two so that I can manipulate them in an equal fashion or in a balanced fashion. So the effort of getting the actions of two batons developed also uh, concerns itself with realigning the mental processes so that you're balanced between your two hemispheres and not as we tend to be stuck in the left hemisphere or the limit the linear hemisphere, uh, the way we're taught in schools and things like that. Kind of like the difference, of course, between an artist and a scientist. The stick development activity really pushes you toward a balanced development between those two hemispheres. So getting two simultaneous actions going at the same time requires you then to rewire yourself to some degree as well as develop yourself in some pretty peculiar ways because you have to let the two halves have their own sphere of action or activity and not let one bang heads with the other. I found out for my own self that uh, going to grabbing up that second baton, I felt like a baby again. I felt like I had to go back and crawl again. Essentially, that's what I did. I went out and hid for about a month, doing sticks a little bit every day, and pretty soon I was doing it. Six months later, I did a parade, dropped them a few times, but I certainly made it through. And I might say that I was a bit of a different person at the end of that parade as a result of the effort. Something clicked in there somehow and made a nice difference.